U.S. President Donald Trump is said to have cancelled his Secretary of State's trip to the North Korean capital this week after he received a letter from Pyongyang, which in previous reports had been described as belligerent. More details on that later letter have been leaked, and it seems it was Pyongyang that implied that don't come unless you have something for us. Strong words, but where is their confidence coming from? Trump says it's China. We have our expert guest in the studio to further discuss this, but first, our foreign ministry correspondent, Yi Wan, has this report. It appears U.S. President Donald Trump didn't have a choice but to call off his Secretary of State's fourth visit to Pyongyang, as Washington had nothing to offer the regime. Citing an unnamed government official, Reuters reported Thursday that the tone of the secret letter Kim Young chul vice chairman of North Korea's Workers' Party Central Committee, sent to the U.S. was that if Washington is not willing to give something, then Pompeo shouldn't come. The regime has been asking the U.S. to declare an end to the Korean War, while the Trump administration has been pushing Pyongyang for an inventory of its nuclear and missile programs and other military assets. The senior official added that North Koreans seem to be thinking the U.S. is not doing enough, which appears to back up a report by U.S.-based media outlet Vox, which said President Trump promised North Korean leader Kim Jong-un a peace treaty sometime soon after their summit in June. But the Trump administration continues to insist denuclearization has to take place before anything else. Amid concerns over the stalemate, the U.S. remains firm on its restrictions on the regime. A U.S. State Department official said the department has extended its ban on Americans traveling to North Korea by another year until August 31, 2019. The reason given for the ban is the concern over the threat of arrest. U.S. law stipulates that travel restrictions on Americans may be imposed if there is imminent danger to the public health or physical safety of U.S. travelers in the country or area. But it's known that individuals who wish to travel to or within North Korea for extremely limited purposes and whose travel is in the U.S. national interest can apply for a special validation from the State Department. There will also be exceptions if the trip is justified by compelling humanitarian considerations. The ban was imposed in September last year after the death of American student Otto Warmbier, who was sentenced to 15 years of hard labor by the North after allegedly trying to steal a propaganda sign. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.